Welcome to Collecting Chaos and Other Talking Points. Uh, and this time I'm going to show some more comics that uh, are from my collection, but I never really actually collected. Yes, this time we're talking about Wolverine. This is actually a gimmick comic uh, because it's a minus one issue. Let me make sure we got a good focus on it. Have you and ever we'll get started. That, uh, comics from the same month can be widely different priced. Hmm. I've seen comics from the early 60s that go for three, four dollars. And comics from that same month go for three or four thousand dollars. So why is it that some comics are more expensive than others? Well, there's a lot of different factors that go into pricing comics. And that includes, but not limited, to age, the condition, the rarity, the artist, writer, publisher, the genre, and a character's appearance. For instance, you can have a mediocre comic that normally sells for three or four dollars each, and suddenly you put a hot character in there, like maybe a Spider-Man or Wolverine or something like that, and suddenly it becomes super valuable. Well, maybe not super valuable, but worth easily two to three times what that comic would be worth otherwise. Now we have an additional factor. Is it rate? Is it graded? Is it raw? Apparently that makes a big difference also. You know, I remember back in the nineties when I had my store, customer came in and he was going through my X-Men comics and suddenly he stopped. He pulled one out and said, hey, you got this price too low. It's a $20 book. And I, I probably had it for about $10. And I explained that my price was too high. And he argued with me, insisting that I needed to raise the price because Wizard said... Finally, I just asked is he going to buy it? Since it's cheap and all, you know, half price basically. He, oh, no, no, no. He's not going to buy it because he already had a couple of them at home. Huh. I think he kind of proved my point that it was already too high or he would have bought it. The whole point is a price guide said it was worth this, so it must be worth that. But that's not always the case. A lot of it depends on the, the venue. In my case, where I had a brick and mortar store, I had to try to sell the comics, which means sometimes I couldn't get the best prices for them. So I couldn't ask the wizard price, which was usually higher than everybody else's. Uh, I sometimes would have to go lower than Overstreet and sometimes, you know, lower than that. And then sometimes I could ask two, three, four times the price. It all depended on whether that comic was popular in that area. So not only do these, the first things I list did uh, contribute to price, so does the area that you're buying it from. If you buy a comic that's got great distribution in your area you're in, and then somebody half the country away saw very limited distribution where they were, obviously it's going to be more rare for them, and they're willing to pay more to get it. Like I said, there's a lot of different things that go into why some comics are more expensive than others. Let's take another example. Hulk 179. It's what, five, ten dollar book maybe? Maybe twenty on a really good day? 
Now there were just as many of those printed as there was Hulk 180 and Hulk 181. But Hulk 180 is a couple hundred bucks and Hulk 181, well you know how much that is. It's way overpriced. That is my opinion. How many times have you gone to a show or looked online and you'll see 40, 50, 60 copies of Hulk 181 for sale? And one or two of 179. It isn't that there's that there's less copies of 179. It's just that the price isn't there, the money isn't there, so people aren't trying to sell them. Another good example of what kind of thing I'm talking about. Early 60s, 60s westerns and war comics, they don't sell for a whole lot of money. You can probably build a pretty nice collection of them on the cheap. Early 60s superhero comics can get a little pricey to the point where they are exorbitant when it comes to the price. And then you have romance comics. Have you ever noticed that romance comics always seem to sell for a premium? Now the westerns, the war, the superhero, the romance comics from that time frame, they all basically had the same distribution. They all basically had the same numbers printed. But for some reason romance comics seem to be rare and high-grade romance comics are exceedingly rare. And what I suspect happened is people bought the romance comics and they read them for a while and they got tired of them and they threw them away. Whereas the westerns, the heroes, and the war comics, they were collected more. Maybe that's because of the target audience too. So maybe the target audience can have an effect on how collectible something is and how that affects the price. The target audience for the romance comics were basically teenage girls. They weren't interested in collecting comics. Yeah, buy one, read it, throw it away, it's not important. But the boys that were buying the war comics and the western comics and the hero comics, they bought them and kept them until their mom threw them away. <laughs> I'm not trying to give you an answer as to why one comic is worth more than the others. I'm just trying to give you some insight on it. And uh, having said that, I think that's enough for this video. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoyed some more comics that are in my collection that I didn't actually try to collect. Bye for now. I hope you enjoyed that little uh, demonstration of my uh, part of my collection of Wolverine comics that I never intended to collect. Some of them I got as I had a store and they're left over. Some of them I bought in collections. Uh, but I never actually went out and purposely bought a Wolverine comic just to buy a Wolverine comic. I don't like the character that much. Having said that, I do like this Adam Kubert cover. <laughs> like it a lot. So that's the end of today's video. Um, like it if you like it. Uh, if you enjoyed the Wolverine, the little show of Wolverine, or the con or the uh, my narrative, uh, give it a like, share it. Subscribe if you're not so you don't miss anything 
and have a great day. Bye.